Hello and welcome to Dorky Explains. Today we want to talk about the Guild War planning. First of all, I've developed an um, application where you could plan your Guild War. And therefore I will describe this here. So on the left side of this program, we could select a Guild. Um, therefore we have in the folder some XML files where you have the players underline and then the guild name. So if you want to uh, plan another guild or rename this, just um, rename this name at the end. So the name of this guild will show it here in this combo box. So, first of all, if you have some suggestions to the program or have some questions, just ask. I am able, available in line or on Discord. And yeah, let's start with the Guild War planning. So first of all, what did you have to do with your Guild War? You enter a name for your uh, members of the Guild. Um, the hero level, which is the current hero level, and walker level, which is able, which your member could manage. Yeah, and then we have an island, so a favorite island you could also select, but remember it has to match with the guild wall plan. So if you enter here, for ex example, um, Island 12 and Island 12 isn't the maximum island, um, then it will be ignored. So then we have here some options. We could select if the player will have some spares. If the player is a late player, he will um, solve the C sectors of this uh, plan. And if the player wants to finish alone, so this is for early players, um, he will, for example, manage A, B sectors for his own. And on the right side, you could select which type of missions the player wants to solve. So you have the possibility to just make player versus player matches. So or three men, just war commissions or both. So default is both. Um, yeah, and therefore we have uh, strength. In this example, we have some not maximum players um, which could just manage hero level plus 10. Um, so uh, now we come to the right side. So we could hide this left area. Um, we select here the players who joins the battle. Um, you are able to save these players and you could load this. So if you have some uh, weekly, always the same players who joins the battle, then you could use this option. You could also save this Plan. So after all, we have here some options also, no sanctuary, I think it's clear. More island players, this option is not anymore available. And we have separate kill all walkers missions, which means that players with strength, with a lower strength, could do this. I entered this or I configured this that players with strength plus 10 levels um, so will be able for example for this player he could manage uh, cuts in plus 20 um, strength so this is also very good uh, if you want to do the maximum out of your plan so the Player one could manage some war commissions of this. I have to say that 
this are just some placeholders so you didn't know before which field is a kill or walker map so and you just have to know this is a placeholder for this player one who will manage this one field in sector 5a and yeah that you have to know so that plan we have created so i show another example we have here this map which player has to play this which field you could also use this drag and drop and shift them here so for example this looks better for you uh, the player points will calculate again and so you could see which will the um, result of your player scores and you could maybe see oh this player needs has needed some fuel uh, so some red gas and yeah that's a good um, overview we have here some spares so player three has 10 spares over so you may be uh, add a sector a bonus sector for example and do it on your own so you are able to do it to select an island just example and then the ad hex will um, assigned um, really balanced so player one player two player three player one two player two player three so at the end everybody has the same spares over or nearly the same and for example you could add another sector so then we have also some um, spares over and that makes no sense so C sectors you should know it just makes sense if you add A and B um, yeah and we have here this message that you didn't reach the maximum points and you didn't have the maximum sector count for the player so the spares doesn't match with your player count um, in this example we have three players so this means you have to play one island so abc and one sector which is now and so the sector message is gone and yeah now is only shown the maximum point message so another example for some big scorers which may be the most of us are. So we add all players and optimize. And now we see we have a maximum total of 13,638 points. And we have here four spares for test one and four spares for test two. Test one has to play with test five in sector 20D. So he has to double this 60 field war points uh, fields to get the maximum. And test two has to also do this sector 20D and also with test one in sector 20a so that's all um yeah we have here this um display how many points the players has and yeah i think that's all so you could we could also see this cuts option if you don't activate it we see that the 
test one is doing this sector alone. Just test three helps you because test three is only a three man and he does the three man missions. And did we have another example? We have test six who is a late player. He plays the C sector. So we have 20C, 19C and a bit of 12C. Yeah, and I think that's some examples, but you have to know sometimes it doesn't work with each other. So if too many players has too many options here, so with this late player or finish alone, that will be not so good at this point. So the optimization didn't work, maybe not so good, but yeah, if you just use it on two or three players, then it should work good. So just another example, if we just use eight players, like this perfect um, player matching for the perfect point. So you play it two times with eight players and um, four times with six players. We also see this 12,028 points and we have here four spares in sum and player one has to also double with this test five in sector 20D. Also like test two. Yeah, and I think that's all about this Guild War Planner and if you have some questions or something else some uh, didn't something work like you have you think it should work um, then you could send me some feedback on this and yeah I think it's a good method to prevent this stacking in some fields which you didn't want to stack uh, because your players didn't talk to each other or didn't see that the player said he plays a field in sector 20A and the second player also wants this. So therefore it is a it's good to have a field signed plan which makes a guild war more comfortable. Uh, so, yeah, I think that's all and yeah, bye.